Hey traders, welcome back. It's Kenya with BK Trading Academy. We're going to hop into a multi time frame analysis of GBP USD. I'm going to give you my thoughts on where I think this pair is headed and opportunities to look for. So, we're looking at the monthly time frame. We're going to start off with the multi time frame analysis, and you'll notice that price is trading at 1.2184, and it is currently near a retest of a previous low here on the monthly. So back in March of 2020, which was our pandemic low, and then again in 2019, and if we just extend this zone out into 2016, you can see that this is a strong level where the market pivoted multiple times from. But you can also see that we are trading quite bearish, and you can see that we also have a bearish flag pattern within this downtrend. So I do believe that we are positioned to head lower. And the only thing that will change this is fundamentals, of course. But in the meantime, I do think that we're going to head up probably briefly back to a previous structure around 1.2414. And looking at the higher time frame helps us to notice that. But you can see there's obvious room for price to continue dropping. And since price is quite bearish, we're going to continue to drill down and see if we can find more signs that will confirm what we're seeing right now and potentially what's on the way. So as we move down to the weekly time frame, now you can see here on the weekly, as we look at this trend, it does seem to be a bit bullish, but you'll notice that the trend has recently also made another shift. So let's just look at the price action here, and we're just going to point out what it was doing before. So if we simply capture this inside of a channel, you'll see that we were in a previous downtrend, and then the market shifted to an uptrend. And how do we know that? Because this is where our previous high was in that previous downtrend and you can see that this high was taken out and we created a new high slightly above it right at 1.2423 the market gave us a correction or a retest of our previous low continued growth to the upside came back retested that level again and then continued to shift breaking above our high at 1.2441 and then gave us a new high so as you can see the market structure has turned from one of a bearish bias to a bullish bias on the weekly and then we created a higher high at 1.3127 but then we came and we broke this previous structure low here so notice that we broke the low right at 1.2 2337 we then pushed up to retest and reject off of it and now we are seemingly wanting to continue that downtrend so now that we know that we're going to continue to drill down and i'm just going to keep in mind that this is our nearest structure level right here and then we have a low ahead so i'm gonna i always like to identify a high above price and a low below price so here's our recent low and you can see this is an obvious low right here the price could go and retest but this is where our opportunity is right now so now we're going to drill down to the daily and now you can see on the daily that we have a downtrend and like i said look where the market is right now so i have a level above price which is a very strong reversal area and i have a level below price where the market could come and give us a retest or a double bottom and then we could see from there what happens because we might get a push up where we might reach the neckline of this pattern and we just could see the market recover for the pound but it is quite weak right now and so until that happens we have to just follow this day by day so this is our trend on the daily so you can see that we have a downtrend and price is right at our resistance and also our resistance trend line as well or our resistance um, off of this trend so if i capture this inside of a channel you can see that we do have proof of a descending channel and within this channel you can see the obvious flagpole so here is your flagpole here and then here would be your bearish flag pattern so this would be your bearish flag pattern right here and we also have a bearish engulfing candle on a daily so this is signaling that more than likely price will rise to possibly retest 1.2261 and then i think we will see a fall from there going to retest that 1.2045 so let's continue to drill down so we're going to be mindful that this is an area of support and possible retest and let's just go and see on the lower time frame what the market is doing as well so i'm going to go down to the eight hour and now you can see on the eight hour we are still quite bearish you can also see that drop there and then you can see the area right here where the market broke and continued below this eight hour low at 1.2256 so in the short term here's what i think could happen i think that we will see a pullback or if i simply even just take my fib on this move here and i can just measure it right now if we get at least a 50 percent fib retracement 
or even to the 618 fib retracement that would be about that area there and if i remove this you'll see that this is a previous area of resistance resistance we had a little bit of support there and i think that we could possibly test again as resistance possibly we may not get there but i do think we possibly will get back to 1.2251 and then see the market continue to fall or shift to the downside on this eight hour we are trading right at the 50 period moving average so i think that we will get more of a pullback and then possible continuation to the downside now why do i say that i think price will continue to move downward well remember on the daily i pointed out that we are in a downtrend we also just got a massive bearish engulfing candle here on the daily and this usually signals more downside to come so in that case i do believe that this is where we're headed to retest in the short term and let's just see how many pips that is from where price is right now so that's only about 125 pips away so how should you be trading gbp usd right now from a daily perspective we want to always follow the trend right and if you counter trend then you just have to know the risk that you're taking on so here is our daily trend and obviously if we have a level below price we want to possibly consider that and we have a strong level above price so this meets our trend line resistance so this would be an ideal area to short from if we get a retest of the area but i don't believe that's where price is headed but possibly after we push down to retest this bottom area here so in the meantime you either want to short near resistance or you want to go long from the support zone okay um and that is going to be your opportunity right now notice that in the middle of this channel i'm just going to capture this in a channel the price is in the middle of the channel so we never want to do anything in the middle of the channel because you can pretty much get stuck okay so you want to make sure that you don't do that so right now what i would recommend is wait for a return near resistance um, i think that even if price gets to about 1.2260 like i said i think it probably will fall from there because that'll be a retest of this previous resistance area so watch for either a return to the resistance and showing confirmation of rejection to the downside or if we get to this daily bottom here which on the weekly this is what this would look like it will still be very risky because we're bearish on the weekly and also the daily and once price gets here there's a possibility it will dip down here so i really don't like advising to trade against the trend unless you guys have experience doing that if you're a new or struggling trader i recommend that you trade with the trend so in this case you'd want to wait for a pullback for example and then a move to the downside so but you can see there's just obvious another another approach i'm sorry is that you can look for a bearish breakout so notice here on this four hour we have an impulse to the downside and then we have a breakout so or actually the breakout is in process or trying to start so we might just get this breakout right now and if there's an obvious continuation to the downside you could take this even to this next low right here at 1.2106 um, once price gets there let's just see how many pips that would be so that would be nearly 70 pips or so you could always put your stop loss and break even okay so that is my analysis on gbp usd overall bearish and i would say let's see on this four hour right now so this is the 50 period moving average on the four hour if you were to short i know some people like to hedge but if you were to short let's say for example you short from about the pullback area 1.2204 even back to the resistance near 1.2220 you could put your stop loss right above the structure high here just keeping it conservative so that if the price action does go your way you could take profit right at that next zone to the downside okay so i hope that you find this helpful if you are new here i encourage you to click follow on our profile and you'll get these ideas delivered straight to your inbox also check out our telegram below for more great stuff we have some awesome things going on right now for you guys that many of you have requested so check it out and i'll see you guys in the next trade idea stay safe and have a great trading week thanks guys